Hey everyone, Michael from Xano here. In this tutorial, I want to go over the array function, which is get element count. And get element count will get the count of elements in a specified array that matches an expression that you define. So let's go ahead. I'm just going to quickly run this query all records. And you can see I have name, description, and it looks like a user ID that each item or stuff belongs to, right? So let's say for the purpose of this example, I want to find the count of elements that belong to user ID one. Now, if we were using query all records, we wouldn't need to do that. We could just do it all in the query all records with filtering and aggregates. But for the purpose of this example, let's go ahead and use our array function. So data manipulation, arrays, and at the very bottom, get element count. So it looks very similar to most of the other array functions. We first define an existing uh, variable in our function stack that is an array. Mine so happens to be called array. And the next thing we're gonna do is build our expression. You'll notice this blue message tells us to use the dollar sign this variable to represent each iteration of the array that we're gonna search through. So I'm gonna go ahead, open the expression builder and find that dollar sign this variable. Now, because I have an object array here, that is an entire object. So I need to drill down into this. So I can just use dot notation on here to say where user ID is going to be equal to one. Now, of course, here I can do ands, ors, also groups. I can add filtering if I need to. I can use different operators. I can make this value dynamic with an input or other variable, but let's just leave this simple expression in here for now. And let's just return this variable as the name count. And we will just update my response here. So now when I go ahead and save this and simply just hit run and debug, we'll see that there is a count of two in this array that matches my expression, which is where user ID is equal to one. So once again, query all records could do that, but I wanted to use a nice clean uh, set of data here for an example. But the get element count, like many of the other array functions, are very useful because it takes out the complexity or extra steps of using a loop and maybe some conditional logic, uh, et cetera. It's all in one line. Uh, counts can be very useful for doing additional conditional logic uh, if you're bringing in especially arrays from external sources or having a, an array that's always changing dynamically. So thank you for watching and hope it was helpful.